Well, you have to admit, Christmas can be confusing to believers. So what do you think? Is Christmas a pagan or a Christian holiday? Okay, let me tell you something. You know, the answer, the answer is whatever you want Christmas to be. Anything can be pagan if you're dedicated to a pagan god. Or on the flip side, whatever you eat, drink, or whatever you do, you can do for the glory of God. Now that word whatever can also include a celebration. Now remember, only God knows your true motives, okay? No human is a mind reader. They can only guess and condemn based on their conscience, which they should never, ever impose on another person in the first place, you know? I mean, when you really think about it, isn't everything sort of pagan? I mean, after all, the word pagan just means country dweller. By that definition, even Jesus and the apostles were country dwellers, you know? So the word pagan is just a word that means different things depending on who's blabbing about it, you know? Sure, go ahead. You can point to a lot of customs and traditions of the Christmas that originated outside the Abrahamic religions. Yeah, you can do that. But that doesn't mean people are secretly worshiping other gods. Come on, you know better than that. And here's the thing. Anybody who points the finger at Christmas rooted in paganism is a hypocrite, and I'm going to tell you why. They're like those vegans, you know, some of them vegans who say stop eating meat while they're wearing the leather shoes and the leather coats, you know. And let me tell you something. The same people who attack Christmas enjoy all kinds of pagan customs like wedding ceremonies. You know, they own cats and dogs and pets. They got watches, they got calendars, coins, dollar bills, and Nike shoes. Plus, they make appointments on days named after false gods. Everybody, even a young child, can name the days of the week, but which days of the week are named after different gods? Monday celebrates the moon god, Sunday the sun god, and all the other days of the week celebrate Roman and Viking gods. Guess what Viking god is celebrated on Thursday? You are right if you said Chris Hemsworth. So the word pagan that's being tossed around during the Christmas holidays is usually promoted by well-intentioned people who seek to impose their conscience on others by drawing attention to themselves with an attitude of self-righteous superiority the same way the Pharisees did in Jesus' day. What they don't know is they are being judged by God the same way they judge others. In fact, Jesus said the standard they use in judging will be the standard by which God will judge them. You see, the key here is to never impose your conscience on another person. That's how you stay out of trouble, you know? Even the Bible says to mind your business. Nobody can ever be free from the roots of paganism as long as we are descendants of country dwellers. In order to completely avoid all pagan roots, you have to leave planet Earth and go to another planet named after a pagan god, Mars, or the goddess Venus. You see, that's why there's so much confusion over Christmas and all kinds of things, like the vaccine mandates and whatever. That's why we have the Constitution to protect the rights and liberties of all people. So the next time somebody comes up to you and say, hey, Christmas is pagan, you tell them, yeah, so's your face, because you inherited that face from country dwellers. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? What's your next question?